This is a wormhole factory. That is supposed to be this, which is the accelerator. It's what actually creates the wormhole. It smashes protons together at the Planck energy, Planck, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, at, and which is um, 10 to the 13th power electron vol volts. See where this is going. The wormhole goes from here. The fault newly created wormhole goes from here to here. And this is the injector. It'll it'll make sure that the wormhole doesn't decay. I mean, right now, it's a quantum wormhole, which has a very low energy um, crop. It's um, on very low energy, and it needs a large amount of energy to be stable. And port blue on plasma has a very high energy, so this will not, so it will ensure that the quantum wormhole will not decay. That is the inflator, and that's this. Um, and it inflates the wormhole with negative energy. It's stuff that's anti-gravitational. And so it will be big enough. So it's a sort of anti-collapse, you can call that. And then it makes, makes sure that you can actually go through it. Because, as I said before, quantum wormholes are of absolutely no use to anybody who's, who's not our size. Mm -hmm. And then, now, comes to this, which is the differentiating. It differentiates the times of the two mouths by, um, this is a different method than the Starship method, which I explained earlier. It puts it into a particle accelerator, one mouth, and accelerates it inside right, for a set period of time. A wormhole. I'm sorry if this is sort of annoying, but I really do like animations. Well, I don't know how you understand all of this stuff and then can put it into a for a few characters, so wow. I read books twice. 